There's a new cop riding into town in Hoboken, New Jersey. Actually, there are two of them, and they may be riding in on scooters. E-scooters, the two new cops hired to enforce safety laws for other e-scooters and bicycles and e-skateboards. So how's this going to work in a city that is already filled with e-scooter controversies? We sent our Safan Kim to Hoboken to find out. As the saying goes, look both ways before you cross the street. Between the cars and bicycles and pedestrians, you got to keep your head on a swivel. But in Hoboken, you also got to look out for these things. I feel like these scooters are everywhere that they shouldn't be. That's why the city created a first of its kind scooter enforcement bureau, if you will. Enforcement officers have been deployed for a week to crack down on electric rideshare scooter infractions. They're similar to a police officer and then they can write tickets. They're similar to parking enforcement officers. They're similar to code enforcement officers. The most common violation so far, he says, underage users riding the wrong way down one way streets and the big one, scooters on the sidewalk. Last month, an underage rider on the sidewalk collided with a mother and her stroller. That rideshare company's contract was immediately unplugged by the mayor. But there are still these Lime scooters zipping around. Many residents like the idea of a dedicated scooter enforcement officer. I think it would be an actual deterrent, and right now there isn't one. It can't hurt to have people regulating. So how would you identify one of these officers? For now, it might be a little tough. They just got fitted for uniforms, and they won't get them until next week. So for now, they'll be carrying badges and business cards. Meanwhile, Council Member Tiffany Fisher met with Lyme officials today. I was skeptical at first. What happens if an irresponsible rider ignores the officer and just scoots away? This number is like a license plate. The council member says Lyme is working with police so it can suspend a rider's account immediately. Being able to identify the scooter in particular is in the time that the scooter infraction happened right. will tell you who's on it. For now, there are only two scooter enforcement officers to police the nearly 4,000 rides a day, but the city could add more. I think we need to like maybe quadruple it.